I had never, I had never met Elvis at the time, and he had just gotten back from Florida, and I was up here, and he, he called to see if I was up here, so he wanted to meet me. And he come up and he parked right there in front of Sun Records, and um, I never forget it. Uh, Elvis drove up out there in a white Continental Lincoln Mark II, 57 model, and um, it was brand new at the time. And he looked great, you know. And he got out of the car and he walked in. And he, and we met. He walked over here and sat down to a piano I was sitting over here. And he had his girlfriend with him. I don't know who she was. Pretty girl. <laughs> And she lay down across the piano, and he was sitting at the piano. We stood there and took a picture, and he played piano for about an hour and a half or so. And he said, you know, I think, he said, I think every man should know how to play a piano. I said, I've been trying to tell you that for two hours. <laughs> I think I got the stamps in his mind. <laughs> it was Carl Perkins, uh, it was his session. <laughs> He was doing a session, as a matter of fact. We just kind of busted in the man's session and took over and started singing, playing. I never forget it to Johnny and Carl and myself and Elvis. You know, every time Johnny and Carl would start to sing something, do something, and Elvis would just take over and start singing. <laughs> I mean, it was kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, I think Shelby sang them, released them, and called it a million dollar quartet. And uh, get a hold of this album, you can, you can hear what I'm talking about all the way through it. I mean, Sam Phillips taped every bit of it in there. And <laughs> Shelby Sanglin released it. You know, Shelby, he'd release, he'd release anything if he got over it. He'd never pay you, but he'd release it. <laughs> he's something else. He's a great person.